where we have large numbers of New Zealanders make an effort to come and see, to understand, to see that some of the cultural treasures of China, to understand what lies behind that, what the history of the of the artifacts, of the of the, the works of art, the his, the places where they were they were made, the history that lies behind them, the significance in China. You can just do have a considerable interest in that aspect of China's cultural history. I mean, we have a range of interests in China that really cover the full range of what you would expect in two countries that have got a great deal in common. You're absolutely right, that Terracotta Warriors exhibition brought very large numbers of people to come and see it simply because of its extraordinary level of interest, the history behind it, the story going back to Qin Shi Huangdi's time, to the discovery of, of the Berry of the Warriors in the 1970s. Um, it's a great story, so people like good stories and great stories, but it's also a story, that's a story of, of, of great cultural skill. History. So there are many, many other aspects of China's culture, cultural tr traditions, cultural achievements, cultural performance today that New Zealand is interested in. We've had some, some great Chinese musicians that have come. I think one of the most important aspects of building cultural exchange is language and the chance to, for New Zealand students from primary school right through to university to have the chance to learn Chinese, to learn through the language the, the aspects of Chinese history, Chinese culture, that gives them a much better understanding not only of China but of China's place in the world and of New Zealand's engagement with China. The modern China, the great cities of, Shang of Shanghai, of Guangdu, of Chengdu, of Chongqing, of Beijing and so on, which I've seen grow from my first time, for example, in Shanghai in 1976, 75, um, when it was a low city, now it, it, it's a city, one of the great tall cities of the world, but it was not when I first went there. It's, it's a different country in that sense now, from the days when there, was, there were no interprovincial roads or they were, so, they, were so, they were small and not heavily travelled to the great highways of today. China is, has got so much, not just to offer now, but so much to, 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 in terms of the lessons for other places to learn of how to transform country, how to build an infrastructure, how to bring about aspects of modernization that benefit a country.